Hi everybody and welcome back to day two of the 2011 Thanksgiving Cards with the Cricut series. And we're back with another simple card. As I said in video one, this is going to be the same type of card, but we're just going to change the paper and how the front of the card looks. So for day two, this is our card. And once again, it is a gatefold card. So it opens up like this. So come on and join me and I'm going to show you how I made this card. Okay everybody, so I'm going to bring up the supplies so we can get started with day two of the series. So as I said on the series from day one, these are going to be quick and simple cards and we're going to use the same type of card but we're just going to change up the colors and use some different Cricut cartridges just to make the card look just a little different. So we're making another gatefold and the cardstock measures eight and a half by five and a half and this is some of the um, textured linen cardstock that I got from Joann's and so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and score at two and an eighth and six and three eighths and then that's what forms your gatefold so now my panels that are going to go on top of the card are these panels here and this card stock is once again from the K and Company card stock and it's a paper pack by Tim Coffee. So let's go ahead and put go ahead and lay these down. Now these card stock pieces measure two inches by five and a quarter inches and you're going to cut out two of those so let's go ahead and get some tape on there and this cardstock is double sided so I'm going to just go ahead and put some tape down the middle and then just get some on each each edge and since we're going to do two of those, we might as well go ahead and get the tape on there now while I have the tape gun in my hand. Okay, so for the first piece, I just want to line that up. I'm going to go ahead and open up one side of my cardstock so I can go ahead and lay the top layer down. Make sure we get this on there. And these are going to be really simple. There's no ribbon involved. And believe it or not, I'm not even going to put any bling on the cards. I wanted to give everybody something really simple and quick to make. Because I know i got to get the Thanksgiving cards. I'm sorry, the Christmas card series started. So, let's go ahead and add that second layer on there. And I'm going to close up the card for this because I kind of want to make sure I get this at the same level. And I'm over just a little bit, so we've got to pull that off. So you get to see one of my mistakes. go ahead and line it up. And what I'm trying to do is get my edges so that they're even. Okay. So there we go. So now we're going to put that aside and we're going to work on the next layers. So this piece of cardstock is once again some of the Joann textured cardstock and this piece measures three inch three inches by four inches and I've gone ahead once again and inked my edges using the Tim Holtz gathered twigs distress ink and I also went ahead and inked 
the top layer of this. I did not ink the card itself because you really don't need to. So that's going to be my next layer. And what I'm going to put on top of this is I've cut out this image from the Thanksgiving cartridge. Now this was a solutions cartridge from last year that I got. And I did use this cartridge last year to do my Thanksgiving series as well. And I'll put a link up here to some of the cards from that series. So now this is the couple. And this is because it's a solution cartridge. There's no handbook with this. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've cut out this key, which is key number 21. And that was cut out at one and three quarter inches. And then I've cut out the female, which is also, that is key number 31. And I cut that out at one and three quarter inches. So that's what it looks like on the overlay. So let me go ahead and bring up my gypsy so you can see that. And you don't have to have the gypsy to cut this out because, as I said, they were cut out at one and three quarter inches. So I'm going to just go ahead and show you where I've got both of them laid out. Now to go to the cartridge itself, let's go ahead and go to the Thanksgiving cartridge. And for the mail, that's key 31. And then for the female, that's key 41. So I've gone ahead and cut those out and then I've added them to my layer of cardstock. And then in the background, what I did, I wanted just a faint background of some leaves. So I took this Stampin' Up! set, and I'm sorry for the glare, and I used this stamp right here. And this is from the Pocket Silhouette stamp set. I'm not sure how old this is. I picked that up on a eBay. I find that I like those little um, flowers or I guess they're flowers or leaves. And I've faintly stamped them. Oops, I'm sorry about that. I faintly stamped them using the Tim Holtz Peel Paint Distress Ink. Just so you can see just a, bit, a little bit of the background. And actually what I did was I stamped it on the paper first and then I stamped it on the card itself or the, the um, cardstock itself. So I'm going to go ahead and get some tape on here. And this piece measures two and three quarters by three and three quarters. So we'll get some tape on and we'll just add that to that layer. So we'll go ahead and line this up. And then just press down. And I'm just going to go ahead and get the glue off the edge. I don't even need to use my adhesive remover tool. Okay, so now to make our gatefold, we're just going to lay it down first. And then what I want to do is I just want to mark faintly with a pencil where I want that to sit on the top of the card. And I didn't do that on the first one. And you actually don't have to do this, but I found that I did end up pulling it up off camera so I could center it a little bit better. So that's it. That's where I want it to go. And remember now, you're only going to add tape on this side because you want it to be able to open like so. So I'm going to flip that over. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my tape. Down only on one side.
So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open this up and I'm going to find my little pencil mark that I have here. And I'm going to press down. And then what I'll do is I'll go back and remove that pencil mark, which you can barely see anyway. So that's it for the front of our card. So it's going to go ahead and it's going to open like so. So now let's go ahead and add our greeting. And what I've done for the greeting is, once again, I've used the Inka Dinka Do set that is called Harvest Expressions. And it looks like this. And I'm sorry for this glare. And I've lined it up on my Fisker's Stamping Press. I finally found out what the name of this was. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp the two stamps that I've put together in the middle. But before I do that, I do want to go ahead and put this on my pad. Just so I can have some edit cushion when I'm stamping down. And the other thing I noticed is I probably need to remove that 3x4 that I put on the layer here. So now, rather than using the gathered twigs, I'm going to just go ahead and use my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Sorry about that. Can't read it upside down. Because the gathered twig will not show up on the brown cardstock. And what I probably could have done is just gone ahead and put a sheet inside here and then did my stamping. But as I said before, I wanted to make these really quick and simple. So now that I've got my ink on, I want to make sure I've got my stamp right side up. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp down my image. So I'm going to line up and then I'm just going to go ahead and press down. And there you have it. What I've used is Be Thankful, Happy Thanksgiving. Now that we have our inside stamped, that's it for our card. So this is day two of the Thanksgiving cards with the Cricut for 2011. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.